What's going on my ninjas? What is going on? It is Sunday and we are getting ready to do some grilling. I went ahead and did all the cleanup and uh, got it burning and uh, nice and warm while Mama Ninja is preparing some steaks. So how you guys doing? I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. We didn't work this weekend because it's been supposedly raining all weekend but it sprinkled a couple of times we could have totally worked Saturday but it is what it is so anyway we I yesterday ninjas I just stayed on granny's couch all freaking day I'm not even gonna lie guys I didn't do nothing like I slept in I got up we ate like late breakfast had coffee that's it just chilled out and then I think I took another nap and yada 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 anyway and today we just went grocery shopping still got to go make my list I haven't done that yet contact a couple of customers you know remind them for tomorrow and upload this video so check out mama ninja kitchen I think it's just mama ninja right now on YouTube because we're gonna be going live on there not tonight I don't think because I'm gonna be uploading this video but probably here during the next week, we're gonna be like on a steady live stream. So go check out Mama Ninja Kitchen. I keep saying Mama Ninja Kitchen. I think it's just Mama Ninja. And um, subscribe on there so you don't miss out and hit the like, um, hit the little bell so that way you get notified when we go live because I'm gonna be going live on there uh, pretty regularly right now. Um, starting this upcoming week, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna try to go live on there maybe at least two three times a week okay at least two three times maybe more you never know so uh check it out all right and um we'll uh let me move this out of here out of the way because i got something to show you guys i do have a video today all right Whew. so we're getting ready to cook out ninjas I actually also was doing a little bit of cleaning and just vacuuming everything and kind of getting everything ready for spring and summer because for those of you who followed me from last summer, you guys know I am a big uh, fan of cooking out. I love chicken, steaks, um, shish kebabs, all kinds of good stuff. All right? I, I enjoy it after a nice long day's work, come out here, pop me a Rona and enjoy life because... You know, we work so hard. You gotta enjoy life, ninjas. You got to enjoy life, so. But uh, we decided we're gonna grill out today. So she, like I said, she's getting everything ready and uh, I was doing kind of a little bit of a cleanup. I do have a, like a little vacuum over there on the side. And um, so I was vacuuming a little bit of stuff, but that, that's the green egg down there. Then that right there where I have open, that's where we do our breakfast. So it's like, you can throw some eggs or bacon on there, sausage. Uh, this is where you can make your coffee or boil stuff if you wanted to um, boil water, you know, get get it ready for coffee while you're making your eggs and stuff. So we do have that. This is the green egg. It's the extra large. They have them in different sizes. Like, why am I showing you guys this? Like, <laughs> I sound like I am a uh, salesman, right? But uh, then you got your drawers. You got your fridge right here. All right. You got the fridge. You got your trash right there and then uh this is the uh the big boy right here so um i got a lot of cardboard that i gotta burn so what we do with our cardboard sometimes we'll recycle it uh, about nine times out of ten i use it because we burn a lot of stuff i have a lot of brush occasionally and whatnot so i burn it and buddy stop <laughs> all right so the highlight of the video today is the grill <laughs> of course I will, i'll show you what we're grilling and uh how it looks and all that but i really i made this video i recorded it about this like a couple days ago uh, last week <coughs> and i never got to include it in any of the videos so i just deleted and i want to restart over but i got this freaking box in the mail it was totally surprised me i did not expect it um but it's a welcoming, welcoming box, gift, slash, whatever, to the family. And, but Nick, who's it from, right? Who, who sent you that? Check it out. 
Well, there's the W and there's the ugh, right. That's right, ninjas, from right, okay? You know, it's not a big deal. It's nothing crazy. It's not like I'm trying to make this into something that it's, that it's not or whatever it may be. But this is respect and this is loyalty. And that means so much to me. Like I spent over $30,000 with scabs. I never got something like this. I got some hats from the dealership and whatever. I mean, that's at least they could do, right? How much money I spent there. But this is like the CEO himself signed it with his personal handwriting. It's a welcoming note. And then there's just a couple of other little things, uh, you know, like a hat. And I'll show you. We'll go through everything. But, guys, it's this means a lot, okay? This is... I, I don't even... Here's the letter. I'll read it to you here in a second. All right. It's just, guys... You guys know I'm all about loyalty and respect and commitment to one another, to whether it's with us, for example. Um, I'm committed to you guys. You're committed to my channel, watching uh, me and uh, watching me grow and just go through my journey or whatever it is. Whether I grow or not, it's what I go through. And sometimes um, it could just be entertainment, but sometimes you guys maybe learn something from it. You know, or where I'm, I'll do something wrong or I do it a different way where you guys are like, oh, wow, you know, I didn't think of it that way. Uh, but whatever it may be, you guys are committed. I'm committed to you. I try to upload as much as I can. Um, and so I'm all about loyalty and respect and commitment. You guys know that. I always share it, whether it's on Instagram, uh, hashtagging, or whether it's just mentioning it here and there. But uh, but when a company to this size, you know, takes their time to do this, it means a lot to me. And so I am, I am all about um, um loyalty and i'm all about stuff like this 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 means more to me than what it actually is and how much it's worth or value of it like this is priceless ninjas so i want to be with a company that does this now i don't have any problems with those rights yet will i encounter some maybe it's a machine things will happen it's not the fact that issues can come up come up it's the fact of when they do i'm taken care of Okay, so, but guys, check this out. They sent me a little package of care, care package, whatever you want to call it. And they sent me a little keychain, which uh, these also are on the mowers, the, the, you know, themselves, which is cool. I got an extra one. By the way, WOLF stands for Right Owners Lifetime Family. So that's pretty cool. And that's the website right there. You can go to WOLF rightmanufacturing.com by the way ninjas if you own a uh, right stander one or more go to this website okay right there go to this website if you own a right stander because they will ask you for the serial numbers all right and sign up and basically if you when you sign up they will keep you informed they will send you little things of, like this for example and uh, possibly even maybe a tour down the road I would love it uh, of uh, to see how they build them and all that basically you just stay in the loop is what I'm trying to say sorry for the wind guys uh, which is great which is great so look can opener Rona opener whatever you want to call it it says wolf on there right there that's pretty cool I'll definitely put that on my keychains and we got a hat now ninjas you know i'm gonna be rocking this hat you already know i'm gonna be rocking this hat no doubt i love it i love it super nice and then they sent me a freaking shirt is that it yep they sent me a freaking shirt this is awesome and uh look at that right owners lifetime family that's the back i believe and then that is the front which is just the wolf symbol so very cool of right i want to say if they are watching this which i'm pretty sure from uh uh the comments in the past that they are oh well they were on instagram at least i don't know if they're watching my channel or not but guys thank you to the right you know they took their time oh yeah the letter the letter yep, yep, yep. let's read the freaking letter okay um this is awesome, ninjas. Super cool. And see? Bill Wright himself signed it. So welcome to the Wright Owners Lifetime family, ninjas, alright? 
Now you may not be able to see this. I don't know how the camera is going to be uh, catching all this, but whether I'm going to read it real quickly for you. All right. Whether you have been a right owner for many years or just purchased your first right mower, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the family. I know you have many options for equipment as a landscape professional, and I wish to thank you for choosing right. They are so right <laughs> about that. There are many options out there, ninjas. And so when you choose a company, um, I want them to want my business and I want them to appreciate my business, okay? You know, I was with Scabs for two years now. I spent over $30,000. Uh, and then they threatened me to take my video down for one, and then two, they never returned my calls or anything. Uh, and then they refused to give me a hard time to uh, fix my equipment that's still under warranty. I mean, that right there, guys, that tells me a lot, okay? And But that's, this video is not about that. This video is definitely about this. But I want to say is I want it. What I'm trying to say is I want to be with a company that does this, okay? I want to be with a company that values my business and respect and wants my business you know guys they have me for life if this stays this this way whether i have problems with those mowers or not i upgrade mowers every two to three years a lot of you may already know that um i do it because sometimes it's just time to upgrade sometimes i may have some issues sometimes almost all the time it's just the right thing to do with my business there's a uh, uh from a business uh aspect of things it makes sense to upgrade okay a lot of you may not understand that, but um, a lot of you may. Okay, so let's just keep going here. Uh, the Wolf program is in its infancy with signs of great things to come. We will do, we will do all we can to provide the opportunity for our loyal ninjas. Can you believe that they actually use the word loyal in here? Sorry, I got some dirt on here. I was cleaning on my finger. Loyal customers to gain many valuable benefits from joining and engaging in the community. The family is better because you are here and will blossom as each member participates and provides feedback on how to make this better year after year. Please return to the website. I told you about that. Often to see new posts, videos, pictures, events, business tools, and much more. Again, welcome to the family. I wish you the greatest business and personal success. Sincerely, Bill Wright himself, ninjas. Bros. Come on. Really? That's priceless. That's priceless, ninjas. So, I wanted to share that with you. Super cool. Thanks again to Wright. Thank you to Bill himself. Um, Ed, I know he's following me on uh, Instagram as well. Super nice guy from what I can tell. I haven't talked to him directly yet, but uh, he does follow me. Uh, and I occasionally will tag him in some of the posts if it has anything to do with the mowers. Um, but that means a lot, ninjas. So here is my conclusion of this video. It's not going to be a super long video, even though at the end of this video, stay tuned. I'll show you, uh, if it doesn't get too late, of uh, what we're cooking <clears throat> or grilling. But the conclusion of the video, ninjas, is find a company that wants your business, respects your business, and wants to do everything in their power to not only earn your business, but once they earn it, keep it, okay? Find that company. Now, for some of you, you may have great dealers with the brand that I, ha I have not had so much luck with. If that's the case, that's fine. Maybe, maybe I was just, I happened to be a lemon or they were a lemon to me, I don't know, all right? But find a company that really wants your business. And once they get it, they keep it and they work so hard on keeping it because that's the key and loyalty is the key. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's just a little Sunday vlog. I'm gonna conclude it right here, but I will show you a little bit as uh, the process of grilling and how they turn out, okay? Hopefully I don't burn them. See you ninjas, take care. Check out Mama Ninja on YouTube, okay? Cause we're gonna be doing live streams couple times a week hopefully uh, definitely uh, on a regular basis um, it's gonna be a lot easier because we have baby ninja and it's really hard for mama ninja to make videos with him as he's growing and uh, really requiring a lot of her time when I'm not home so we're gonna be doing live streams on there so mama ninja on YouTube all right <laughs> see you ninjas all right, I told you I'd show you at the end uh, of the video what we're having so mama ninja mama ninja which we what do we got well, whoa, two 
big pieces of steak sirloin? I'm having ribeye and you're having sirloin. Wow. Uh, this is great. Is this the what you... Yeah. So guys, real quickly, Don't look at the... No, no, no. Just out. the thickness I'm trying to show them. This one is thicker. <laughs> uh, you you're just a clean channel. You're so bad. Anyway. <laughs> wow, look at this. Guys, how much did this cost? Don't ask. Yeah. Holy cow. Anyway. It is a cow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ninjas. I'm gonna give you the um, update on it uh, once we uh... see how I make my seasoning later. All right, so here's the progress, ninjas. So, Mama Ninja, what are we doing here? What is it? What you got well, there? Uh, usually I've seen people actually put butter on their meat, on their meat and stuff, mm -hmm. but um, I'm putting olive oil, butter, and um, bay leaves, garlic, uh, rosemary, and thyme. All right. So I'm going to let this melt. I forgot a spoon. Okay. Um, and after it's all done, kind of let it shimmer in there, get that, uh, all that sauce in there, and then we're going to start putting on the meat slowly. All right, got my Chef Ramsay of my own in the house. <laughs> Stay tuned, ninjas. You know my favorite thing about grilling ninjas? It's that sizzle. Look at that. Look at that. That sizzle is what really gets me. All right, Mama Ninja, so what are you doing now? You putting garlic in there? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mm. You don't have to peel the garlic, it doesn't matter. You, you don't? That? No. How come? It's fine. And just let it soak in there. So now what, Mama Ninja? Oh, now you take the juice and just pour it Ooh. Out. Should I flip them or not yet? Not yet. Now guys, Mama Ninja's has a lot more fat on it. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of fat. I think there should be some because it gives a flavor to the meat. But as far as tonight goes, I did pick one that does not have a whole lot of fat. Flip it. Yeah, buddy. We smell it up the neighborhood now, Mama. <laughs> Put all this goodness in there. Mm -mm -mm. You're working it. <laughs> you got me all freaking out over here for a second. I'm holding the camera and I'm trying to flip and. That's all good, put it on the plate. And then we'll put the remaining sauce on there. All right, I'm gonna put remaining of the sauce on it. And when you cook a steak like this, you have to let it sit. If you cut it in right away, all the juiciness, the, good, the goodness is gonna come out. Mm -hmm. I have so. heard that before too, but that is correct. There you go, let it soak in. So here we are, ninjas, to conclude this video. The dinner's ready. I overcooked We mine. overcooked hers a little bit just because she, uh, we were messing with the garlic and the yeah. oil and all that. But that's not bad. That's not bad. I love the way mine is. Let's, uh, let's see the cut. Moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that looks like a more of a medium, honey, instead of a medium rare. I know. But that's, like I said, because we overcooked it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit It's totally, dry. it's totally a medium. Dang it. But How about cut, right. cut in mine? We might want to swap. No. <laughs> you, <laughs> had mind. A, you had a choice. Yes, I love mine. I love it just that way. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right. Let's enjoy you dinner. guys enjoy your Sunday. We're going to enjoy ours. And I'm getting ready to upload this video. See ya.